Hey there viewers, welcome back to the channel for the final installment of the Copart project car. Um, we finished it this week, we put it up for sale last night, and uh, it's complete for the most part. Um, I, I still have to vacuum the interior, so I guess it isn't totally complete. But anyhow, it's uh, been quite the journey going from the uh, Copart uh, auction um, in January, at the end of January, to where we are today. We've replaced a lot of parts. We've done a lot of uh, work to it. We've put a lot of hours into it. Um, but I think the results are well worth it. Let's uh, take a little walk around and uh, get a look at her. Uh, the paint buffed out very nicely. Uh, it polished up really well. Um, we got some new tires on it uh, this week. Uh, they're the Century Tourings from uh, Discount Tire. Um, yes, it's the one of the lesser expensive tires, but you know what? Um, they're halfway decent and they're brand new and they've got all kinds of nice tread on them. Anyhow, uh, like I said, the paint buffed out really well. Um, kind of has a factory shine to it. There are still some uh, scratches and, and swirl marks in it that are pretty deep. Um, I didn't want to get real aggressive in the uh, paint correction on it. Um, but even with the uh, milder abrasives, it came out really well. Anyhow, um, that's the walk around. Let's uh, take a look at the interior. The interior was never really a question with this car. It was just, it was dirty when I got it, but it was in really good shape. Nothing was, was torn. Um, Carpeting was in good shape, but we did add the, the carpeted floor mats. If you remember, we got those from the junkyard. Um, but other than that, all, all we basically did to the interior was clean it up. The um, engine compartment and the engine compartment degreased and cleaned up pretty well. Um, that's looking pretty good under there. Uh, Got most of the leaks uh, kind of tamed and under control. There is still a little bit of an oil pan leak. I did tighten up the uh, bolts on the oil pan and that slowed it down a great deal. Of course, then the other leak I had was the uh, power steering, or not the power steering, the uh, transmission uh, cooler line leak and uh, we replaced the cooler lines on the transmission. Um, so yeah, I think it came out pretty well. It's not a perfect car, it's not um, show quality, it's not anything, but it is good, reliable transportation. And that's what uh, the goal was for this. Um, after it sells, we'll uh, do one more video going over the numbers, but uh, for right now, let's um, just say, you know, I've got some money invested into it. Uh, the, the saving grace was that I was able to pick it up from the auction at a fairly cheap price. Um, if I had paid like retail for this car, there's no way I could have done any, uh, you know, the amount of work I did to it and maintained a profit. Um, if I had paid retail for the car, there's no way I could have done the work and even kept it for myself. Um, but, uh, all the systems have been gone through and this should be a really reliable car for somebody. Um. That being said, you know, there's no guarantee that the engine won't blow up tomorrow, but there's no guarantees in that in a brand new car either. So anyhow, thanks for coming along with this journey, all 37 of you subscribers now and any of those that might uh, happen along the way. Um, coming up on the channel, we're going to jump back on the silver car. I know uh, if you remember a couple of videos back, I kind of Thought I pulled the plug on that thing um, and was going to send it to the scrapyard, but in thinking about it and, and actually seeing what the problem was and where it's bent, um, I'm going to try to take a stab at uh, straightening it out using uh, some hydraulics and uh, some ratchet straps and some tie downs and, and we'll see if we can't uh, bend the uh, things back into place and, and get the doors fitting right. But that'll be for uh, a separate video, a separate playlist. Uh, but for right now, the Copart Project Car, the 2008 Black Impala is complete. Um, hope somebody buys it fairly quickly. Uh, the wife was asking, what are you gonna do if nobody, uh, nobody buys it? I said, well, I guess I'll keep it then and I'll drive it. Uh, also, if uh, 
people uh, want a low ball and don't want to pay, you know, I I'm asking a decent price for it. I'm asking $39.50. Uh, the blue book on it is anywhere from $37 to $42. Um, so I figured $39.50 is a, is a happy medium. Uh, with all the new parts on it, um, you you're not going to find another one out there for the price that, that has as much replaced on it as this one does. Um, and it looks good. It's a sharp looking car. It rides nice. It drives really well. Once I got the four wheel alignment, it drove fantastically. It's straight as an arrow. It's smooth. Um, it really drives. I'm, I'm kind of regretting putting it up for sale. So, you know, if, uh, if all we get is low ball offers, you know, oh, hell, I'll give you $2,000 for it. Well, nope. Nope. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, not gonna be one of those guys that won't be flexible at all, but um, I'm not gonna give it away either. Um, we definitely have to get out out of it what we have in it, and then I'd like uh, to see a little bit of a profit to make all the work worthwhile. There's no way I'll get all uh, my money, you know, all my work out of it. Um, but this was a learning car, so uh, there was a lot of things I did to this one for the first time or things I hadn't done in a while, so uh, that's why it took seven months and that's why uh, I learned a lot while doing it. So anyhow, thanks for coming along for the journey. We'll see you on the next one. And until then, uh, stay safe out there and uh, thanks again.